Hey guys, okay so today, so today I wanted to talk about how to be a fangirl or a fan. In order to be a fangirl or a fanboy, you have to know how, like the basic vocabulary of being a fangirl or a fanboy. I mean, come on, you have to know this stuff. I'm getting my facts off of Urban Dictionary because they know what's up. Now, the definition of a fangirl, I'll get to fanboy, but the definition of a fangirl is a rabid breed of human female who is obsessed with either a fictional character or an actor. Yeah. Fangirls congregate at anime conventions and live journal have been known to glomp, grope, and tackle when encountering said obsessions. Sounds about right. And then a fanboy in the related searches is a passionate fan of various elements of geek culture, which is sci-fi, comics, Star Wars, video games, anime, hobbits, magic, the gathering, but who lets his passions override social graces. An example is at the mall I almost got mowed over by some Dragon Ball Z fanboy on his skateboard. Another word you may have to know is shipping or ship. That definition is short for romantic relationship popularized in fanfiction circles. Another word you may need to know is OTP, which is an abbreviation for one true parents, the meaning the your favorite combination of characters in a fandom together. Another word is canon, which means to differentiate between the official storyline in which the fanfiction is based upon. Now another word you may want to use is no TP, which is essentially the opposite of OTP. While OTP describes one ultimate favorite pairing, no TP describes one's least favorite pairing. Fairly popular term in the shipping community. For example, Sarah says, ew, she's like 17, he's like 40, and he spends the entire series trying to kill her. How can people even ship? This is my no TP for sure. Another noise you may be familiar with is squee, a noise primarily made by an overexcited fangirl, however, it has spread rapidly and is now widely spread among the web community. I've, I've never heard of some of these terms before. This is this is what I'm getting from a dictionary. And I think I'm just gonna stop. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because this book inspired me. Let me show you. It's binge! I love this book. I have already fallen in love with it. I've only read two chapters because I got it at Walmart. At first I thought I didn't see it and then I looked at it for sure and I was like, oh my gosh, that's binge. And I, it just sort of like, I fell in love. I mean, I knew Teller was promoting it and everything, but it's a pretty thick and heavy book. It's a pretty thick and heavy book, so that's why I'm kind of saying I want to savor this. That's why I want to savor this moment. Um, just to read this book. He is one of the people that I fangirl over and along with other YouTubers include Jenna Marbles. I'm trying to get into Low Anthony. I'm already like trying to watch those videos because that's what I do. I start from the beginning to the end. I can't just start from where they've left off at. Another YouTuber I watch is Kingsley. I watch him sometimes. I sometimes watch Viners on YouTube like such as Alex James and The Gabby Show. And that's basically it really for like YouTube. I don't really have a wide range of YouTubers to watch because I like to keep it at a minimum. Now, what really started all of my fangirling off was actually anime. <laughs> like, everybody had their, not everybody, most people who wanted to be a geek had their little, like, thing like Pokemon or Bleach or Naruto or... Beyblades, I guess. I don't know. Any like anime shows. Some people had an obsession over and I was one of those people who had an obsession over Naruto. But then as I grew out of the sixth grade, I started to realize that I don't really want to be a fan of this anymore. But then the Hunger Games came into play because I read that in the sixth grade while I was still in Naruto. And then I started loving the Hunger Games. And then I started to read all of these sorts of books, like the Alex Ryder books. If you know about the Alex Ryder books, it's just about a 14-year-old British spy. <laughs> then I started transitioned into Five Seconds of Summer. Um, I just became obsessed with the Maze Runner, and I became obsessed with the Maze Runner through when we got cable. I love the Maze Runner movie, and so I just started. I was like, I really need to read this book before I see the Scorch Trials. So I read the books, the first book, and then I read the second book. And now I'm finishing The Death Cure, which is the third book. Now enough of my story. I need to tell you guys how to be more
more of a fangirl or boy. If you would like to participate in this community that ruins our lives, there are a few rules in order for you to be a fangirl or a fanboy. Now, the number one rule is it might be expensive depending on who you like. Like, for example, Tyler Oakley, I mean, he only has a book so far. His movie Snervous is coming out. That's a great thing, but you have to spend money on that if you're going to be his number one fan out there. I mean, come on. The next rule is make sure you are up to date, or at least try to be up to date. The, along the lines of that, make sure that you have the right user. Now, along the line, no, Shh. Now, along the lines of that, make sure you have the right username when you're looking up your, like, favorite character, actor, or whatever. If you're, if they're, if your person's real, or if your person even has a fan account that may, like, act as that character, make sure you have the right name. I've seen people who follow, for instance, fan pages that are called Tyler Oakree instead of Tyler Oakley, or Jenna Marbles. Somebody's following somebody named Jenna Marbles instead of Jenna Marbles. Oh, I think maybe the last rule is make sure you're supportive because if you're not supportive then what's the point of wanting to be their fan? For example, Alex James just came out recently this last June, I think, and like I, I thought it was like finally he's come out and he's being himself. I love that he's being himself. Then you actually have some Alex James fan accounts that are like, I don't know if this is going to be, if this is going to work out for me, I'm probably going to have to delete this account because this is going to affect my religion. Gays don't really affect your religion if you think about it, I mean they're not hurting you. I mean I'm just saying, just don't, don't let that kind of crap affect you. If, I think that's really it for this video. If you have any fan pages you like, comment them down below so I can see them because I really like to catch up on some people. And seriously you guys, you can be a fangirl or fanboy over basically anything as long as it stays within the lines of fictional or they are an actor or a person. <laughs> if you like this video you can give it a thumbs up and if you like to see more of these types of videos you can go ahead and subscribe. Stop talking. Why did you not stop talking? Okay. Bye!